everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to share how I make my own cash envelopes using Canva. And you all have been getting more curious of this. Um, I shared how to make a printable using Canva in this video right here. Um, and you all have been loving it. So I figured I would share a different version of how I use Canva for making my own products. And I have an Etsy shop. If you did not know, Etsy shop is linked in the description box down below to check that out. But if you are one that is wanting to uh, be creative and maybe start your own Etsy shop with your own design, um, then definitely stick around to watch this video because I will be sharing how I make cash envelopes. Yes. We are a budget community here and we use cash envelopes. Some of us don't, um, but if you're like me, you know that using cash really gives you control over your spending. Um, and sometimes you, you, you just need a different design. Um, you may want to create your own layout of an envelope. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you a simple way on how to create your own cash envelope using Canva. So let me go ahead and share my screen and I'll walk you step-by-step step on a simple way to make your own. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and share my screen with you guys. Let me just turn on the screen recording here. All right, so now you guys are seeing my screen and you'll want to pull up Canva and um, this is how we're gonna go ahead and create our design. So there is a free version of Canva. Um, I currently have the paid version because there's a lot of other tools available on Canva that you can, that you can use. But what you just wanna do is create a design and we're just gonna use a worksheet because that's like a standard worksheet, okay? Um, so it gives you a US letter. So you see it right here? It's a US letter size. Um, and what I like to do whenever I am creating an envelope, um, I wanna make sure that I have like a template, okay? Um, so you can just, I have it pulled up over here. And all I did was just typed in envelope template on Google. And there are so many different like lined templates that you can use. Um, so just for this, I'm gonna click on this one right here. And I'm gonna um, save image as a image on my desktop. So I'm just gonna do that, save it. And then I'm gonna go back on this tab. And what you wanna do is just like drag it and drop it. So you see I have like all of my, I do everything on Canva, I absolutely love it. So this is what you're gonna do. You're just gonna click and it will appear right here on the screen. So let me just bring this aside and make this bigger so you guys can see it. Okay. So it's sideways. I wanna make sure that it is portrait. So you're just gonna use this little guide right here and just make it 90 degrees and make it straight. And since it's still small, I'm just gonna drag it and make it fill the paper. So let me make this fit. Okay, so just drag it and fill make sure that the paper is filled. Okay, so we have our guide. Um, so what I am gonna do, since this is a picture, I'm gonna go on this tool where it says elements and I'm gonna just type in line and it gives you all different types of lines. So I'm gonna choose a solid line and you can change the color and just make it black and I'm just going to make my own sized line. And the way I do this is I just shrink it so it makes it a little thinner, so it won't be that thick line. And we are just going to put it in the place and just make it as best as you can for the guide. Let me just zoom this in so I could see it a lot better. 
and you're just going to kind of trace it as if you were to print it out and you're gonna just trace the lines. Um, I'm just going to like trace out the lines um, as because this is just a template. I still haven't created the design of it, right? So you can put it like that and that looks pretty good to me. So now if I want this same exact length, you can duplicate it, duplicate it on Canva by going right up here and it says duplicate. So I'm just gonna click that and I'm just going to, again, put it in the place. So probably because of the angle, I can maybe put it over here, but we just have to adjust what the direction of the line. So that looks pretty good. Maybe shorten it a bit. All right, and there we go. So we still have all of these other lines to make. So let me go ahead and do that and you all can follow along. I'll probably speed this up, um, but maybe just one more time, I'll do it slow. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this at the 90 degree angle. 90 degrees, get this little tool where you can move it, put it in line. So now, okay, you see how this is kind of forcing it not in line. You just have to be really slow or you can use your keyboard and just with your arrows, move it to where you want it to go. All right, and then with my the little arrow tool, I'm going to make it the size that I want, or at least close to the size that I want. My arrows, just make it a little bit bigger. Maybe move it down. Move it down a bit. Okay, that's pretty good. So now that I have that length, I'm gonna go ahead again and duplicate this and move it to the other side. Mm, trying to put it as close as I can. Move it down and there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for all of the outline of the envelope and then I'll stop and I'll talk about the data lines. Okay, so we have the, the solid outlines completed. I think I got all of the lines here. Okay, yes, now we want to work on the, the dotted lines or those dashes. So it's gonna take a long time to actually do the dots or the, the little dashes. Um, I don't think that there is any that are just dashes here but they have the dotted lines. So I think that that is doable so that we know where to fold it. So I'm just gonna click this, those dots. And again, we're gonna change the color and I want them to be pretty big. Um, so we're just gonna put them and it'll be like the similar way that we did the, the lines. We're just gonna put it like over our template and we're gonna place them where those dashes are. So you can, and this part is pretty easy because it is, ooh, 90. Because they're all straight lines. They don't have that, that angle. So you're just gonna place them right 
like that. Okay. Um, so some of the, the corners, they may not be matching up, but that's okay. We are going to edit that um, once I delete the picture, that template from the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So you're just gonna select the background and just click delete. And there you have it. You have your, your outline, your template um, for how you're going to design your cash envelope. So now, do, do, do. we're just going to fix the edges and you can zoom this in <laughs> like a lot. And so you can see, okay, these corners are not exact. So you can just edit that and just move it with your arrow so that it becomes like a pretty nice corner. Maybe move it down a bit and there you go. You can move this down and there you have like a nice edge so I'm gonna go to all of the corners and just make sure that they are pretty good all right that they're touching at least because remember these are gonna be like all folded and you could be like a super perfectionist um, for this video I'm not going to be super like a perfectionist on this, um, but you get the idea, I hope. All right, so we're just going to extend this down and we're going to cut this one down a little bit. All right, there we go. Let me just put this to fit. So there you have it. You have your full um, template for your envelope. Now, how can you, you can change the color on Canva. There are, it's really, there's so much available on Canva and probably so much more than what I am even aware of. But this is what I found to be super helpful. If you want to make this a different background, um, you can just click on this background right here. And there are so many different backgrounds. If you want it to be with flowers, you can click flowers, which I don't know if you'd want that, but you can see all of the images and you can select what you want. So see, that's pretty. Um, let me go ahead and select something that's probably something that you would want to have just something maybe solid or look at these. These are cute. So that's really pretty. Um, you can use that as your cash envelope. Um, and then what if you wanna label it? So now we have our background, um, but you want to label this. So the way how this image is, we know that this is gonna be the back. So you fold it up this is gonna be, oops, this is gonna be the front and this is gonna be your little, the, the fold. So you wanna make sure that this, whatever is written, you can either put a text. So if you hit T on your keyboard, you can type in whatever you want. So if you want this to be your grocery envelope, you can go ahead and just type in grocery. And since this is the front, you wanna make sure that it is flipped around 180 so that when you print it, this is gonna be the front of your envelope. But if you don't want your text to be on there and you actually want to handwrite and have it be like a label almost, then you can choose your different elements. So we're gonna go back to elements X that out and here are the different shapes. Okay, so we're gonna select all to see what shapes, shapes we have. And so maybe you'd want one that has like the outline. So this one is, is good. So we're gonna select that. And so it comes with two different colors. There's the, um, the background and then there's your outline. Okay, so this one here is your outline this one is your background. 
So background, I believe, should be just white. And then the outline, it can be whatever color you'd like. In this case, we're just gonna default it to black. And here, you're just gonna size it down to however big you want your label to be when you, when you write on your envelope. So we're just gonna make it about that big. And then what's nice about Canva is that you see how it gives you like this guide, those lines. It tells you where the center of the document is um, right on here. And it also tells you on the dotted line, the center of your object that is on Canva. So that is so helpful um, whenever you are wanting to place something on a specific location on your document. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that be right there. And I know that this is the center of this item. So there you have it. You have your design created, you have your background, you have your label, um, you know that you can put in some text. So you could even type in some text here by hitting your shortcut, the T, and you can put in your text, grocery, if you want that. Turn this around, make sure that you have it at 180 because of the way that the document is gonna print. It's gonna print with the front where your label is. And you can shorten this. It's gonna print the front, but that's gonna be your right side up. And the back is the piece that you see right up here. Um, and that's where you can maybe put um, a tracker if you wanna put a tracker. Um, if you'd like to see how I incorporate that on my cash envelope, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. But what you do is you just, you wanna save this. So you can go ahead and cl click here and you want this to be um, a PDF print, which is the suggested one. So it automatically forms to that or defaults to that. And then you'll click download. So when we click download, it goes at, it, it saves it as a PDF, which is exactly what you wanna do. Um, so one thing that I have found, so when it downloads here, now this is a tip for you guys, uh, something that I've at least learned from my on my computer. I have a, an iMac. So when I click that download, it takes you to this Google, right? I'm in the Google um, file. So it tells me I'm gonna go ahead and print this and it, it'll say fit to paper. But what I notice is that it, it prints really big, really large. So what I like to do, and this is just me personally, I like to actually open up the file I'm gonna to go to my downloads, okay? And this right here is the PDF. So let me make this a little bit smaller so you all can see it. This is this PDF, okay? But it pulls it up on an actual like PDF file on my computer. So I found that printing it this way, so directly opening up the download not going by Google, opening up the download, it prints much better, exactly how I want it to print. So I'm gonna go ahead and print this. And for here, you want it to fill the entire paper. That is key. And so the difference in the size, it doesn't actually fill your entire paper. Scale to fit, fill entire paper is key to allowing that document to print the way that you want it to print, the size that you want it to print. Now, with this template, it may, it may be too um, large of a template, but you can just play around with how big you want your cash envelope to be. If you want it to fit into a binder, one of those small binders, um, then you may want it to be a little bit bigger. But that is just a tip, a hack that I have found whenever I was downloading and printing my own um, cash envelopes. I found it to be so much better uh, the way that it prints if you just print it directly from your computer like this instead of from where it pulls it up directly on to Google. So that is everything for this video. If you found it helpful at all, please let me know by 
commenting in the comment section, um, tagging me on Instagram. I'll go ahead and leave my Instagram handle right up here. Uh, so that way I can know, have you tried this out? And I, I just want to connect with you in that way. And if you have any other um, suggestions, if you do like these types of videos, then again, just let me know. That way I know to make more of these types of videos. But that is everything for today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. Be subscribed to my channel. Hit the bell so you're notified every time when I upload and I will see you guys in a brand new video. Bye guys. All right, so now you guys, it brings up text. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm doing a tutorial. <laughs> he was crawling on the floor behind me.